Hello there, Charles Notamia here and in this video I'm going to explore how to identify and then deal with outliers. I'm going to first uh, run a simple uh, linear regression that has a weight and then age. So here a weight is my predicted uh, variable and then age is the predictor. So this is how my model looks like. So I'll go on to use what is called the studentized residuals. So I'll first of all predict these residuals by typing predict. I'll call them R and then I'll go on to specify R student. So in this case I'll have predicted the studentized residuals. Now I will use a cutoff of plus or minus 2. So all observations whose uh, R is greater than plus or minus 2 will be identified as an outlier. So I'm going to uh, go on to list my outliers and now I'm going to list the identification numbers or ID so I will type list ID if the absolute value of R is greater than 2 so here I have observations that are outliers so observations whose IDs are listed here are the outliers in this data set so I'm going to go on to uh, eliminate these outliers. So what I'll do is I'll go on to um, I'll go on to drop uh, all observations whose R absolute R is greater than two. So I've observed I've dropped the eight observations which are outliers. So the next step here is to run my linear regression model once again. So when I run this model, I realize that actually this coefficient uh, changes in the first case when the outliers were in place, it was minus 0 0.06. But after dropping the outliers, it has changed to minus uh, 0 0.11. So meaning these outliers uh, were problematic to the model that I was trying to fit. So in, in summary, this is how you can identify and then go on to deal with outliers so that they do not affect your final model. Charles Nathamia once again thanks for watching and to catch more of these videos go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Bye for now.